Welcome back to Guest Star. <laughs> I, uh, uh, Where am I? Uh, star allies, go! I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Nisco. Uh, 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 We're finally finishing up uh, Guest Star Waddle Doo Beamland today. Just uh, finishing up the rest of this, so let's, oh. uh, let's, let's, let's just jump right into it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, join in. Oh, right. I forgot you gave me the illusion of choice. You let me play along with you. The illusion of choice and the illusion of life. I'm allowed to live today? Thanks, sir. <laughs> You're taking the form I, I allow you to take today. All right now, it's time to go on the front train! Front train! Oh. Woo! Front train! Front UDJ, train! the all-powerful god, allows me to be front a train. bug. Front train! Front train! French rain? French brain. Oh, French rain. Retrain. Ah, French toast. Untrain. Mmm, delicious. Delicious untrained French toast. I keep thinking you're about to get crushed by those things. It's okay. <laughs> We're good. I know you're better at the French train than I am. Well, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the conductor of this Let's Play. It only makes sense. Where's your hat? It's... It's a. It's actually the the caboose. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah don't, don't try to lie to the people. You're not wearing a conductor hat. Can we really call you the conductor of this friend train? Well, I mean, I am really an acquaintance, so I don't know. I don't know what, how uh, good my qualifications would be. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't I really want to go on the neighbor train. You forgot the button, by the way. I want, yeah, I need to hit that. Hit that button. I want to hit that. There. It is hit. Turns out it just blows up your neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> you remember those old commercials? As, uh, honey, what's the switch do here? What's this doing in our house? And it's actually moving the garage door opener on the neighbor's house up and down. Uh, I don't remember those. Destroying right? those cars. I don't even remember what they were selling. Uh, it might have been car insurance, which makes a lot of sense because it was destroying the car. That does sound like a car insurance commercial, like nationwide or something. No. Oh, well, actually, we got some stuff. That's good. Yeah, we're good. We were supposed to go down there. Why? That's, that's where all the stuff was. Oh. We gotta go down here. And here's down where here. more stuff is. Uh huh. Okay. Do you agree that commercials are trying a bit too hard to be funny these days? I think commercials stink nowadays. We are in a dark age of advertising right now. Well, like even when we get to around Super Bowl time, the commercials still suck. Like they're. They're trying to have, like, commercials are trying too hard to have some ridiculous tagline. Mm hmm. Because they think, they don't think that the quality of the product will be enough to sell it on people. They have to have some, you know, nonsensical kind of, you know, just, just, just ridiculous words to maybe fit in a hashtag or, or something, or just, like, slogans. Slogans used to be great back in our day. It's a th you know, they, they were catchy, they had jingles, now it's, it's, it's just whatever bullshit they can think of. There, but, is, there is a small subsect of marketing that I learned where if you're memorable enough, people will remember your product. Like, if you make people laugh, that actually lets people remember much, because people remember a lot through uh, humor. Yeah, you have an emotional attachment to it from the laughter you have from it. The thing is, the type of humor they're going for... I mean, we're no experts on humor. I'd like to think we know at least a little something, but it is try hard at most. Yeah, it is. It is like D-rate SNL on the on an off part of the season. That's I mean, that's the humor's going for. I mean, we're talking yeek levels of humor here <laughs> with uh, with uh, the emu in, in in commercials. Okay, okay, perfect example. <laughs> perfect example of uh, what's wrong with with what's, what's wrong with advertising. Uh huh. Uh, Tostitos has these these flavored chips, or they're, they're like habanero flavored rounds, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know me, I love habanero chips. I am a fan of a spicy chip. I like hot chip, hot <laughs> chip, hot <laughs> chip. Good, make me go. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. Yes. Make me go. Make me go. <laughs> My favorite uh, type of Dorito was a uh, fiery habanero Doritos from like ten years back, and. Oh, they were so delicious, and they got rid of them, and they haven't been back since. No, they were too hot. 
too hot for the normal consumer. So whatever, a mo- you know, any kind of uh, moderate heat comes to a, to a corner potato chip, I am there. I am there, baby. And so I am here for Tostitos Habanero chips, and I had them, and they're, they're pretty good, you know. They're pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know. Not like a 7 or an 8 on my scale. But the advertisement for it... You ever seen Shit's Creek? No, I've been meaning to watch that. I haven't, and now because of uh, these two jokesters that they had uh, trying to sell me this chip, I don't think I ever will. Hmm. There's, there's, there's two of them. I have no idea of their names, but uh, there's, there's two of them, man and a woman, part of Shit's Creek, and they're talking about ooh how spicy this chip is, and they just go back and forth for like a minute and a half. You know, uh, doing stuff like, to me, spicy is like, to me, spicy is drama. Like, Victor, I'm leaving you, and you're the father. To me, spiciness is like, it's like pelvic. That's that's one of them. It's like it's it's like raw. It's 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 the most nonsensical bullshit. And uh, now I don't really want the chips anymore. Character association also helps with selling products. Like I can guarantee, uh, Breaking Bad sold <laughs> blue rock candy for ages, and also bowler hats and mustache groomers. You know, you know, if 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 Jesse Pinkman were to try to sell me something, I'd probably buy it. <laughs> he tried to sell you vitamin water <laughs> after that. Oh, he did. Yeah, there was a commercial where he was selling vitamin water. <laughs> <laughs> it, like like Aaron Paul the actor or Aaron Paul the actor, yeah, not yeah. not no, Jesse. No no, Pinkman. no 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 no! I need Jesse Pinkman <laughs> oh, to sell okay. me something. All right. I bet he could sell you on being a bitch. <laughs> it's like buy some vitamin water, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Howl Room's still yeah, here. Yeah, the Howl Room, yeah. That's adorable. G- g- gotta love the Howl Room. Is there, is there even anything to do in here, or is it just here? Ah! What the Howl Room, man? No, oh, what the Howl Room? What the hell are you talking about? Hell yeah! You got me feeling hella good, so I'm gonna keep on dancing. Oh my god. Hallelujah! <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. You wanna go fishing for some halibut? Nah, your breath stinks. You have halitosis! Oh, no. That took 18 minutes? Get out of here. That... what? Uh, that's not... Sorry, I was no. looking at the time. Oh, that's time over all! Yeah, I think it's counting the time, though. Yeah. Oh, god. I thought I was trapped in, like, a time loop talking, talking about advertisements. <laughs> oh No! Artist. No. Such a tragedy. Now how will we paint scenery? How will we capture the raw emotion of any one place in time? You know, that's actually magically poetic. Just thinking, you know what? We've gone to this place. I'm a painted. We're here. We're in the now. I have captured all the raw emotions of this painting. And Biospark's like, yeah, fuck it. Oh, I guess you're a Parasol Waddle Dee now. I will take it. I am the people's favorites. I am Umbrella Waddle Dee! Well, Beatley's like, yeah, whatever. He pulls out his phone, takes a picture, and adds a little, uh... <laughs> he adds a filter to it. <laughs> Look at the raw emotion in this painting I took. Dude, that's clearly a picture. It's a painting! You don't take paintings. <laughs> oh, God. Man, that uh, that Polaroid would take days to, com- <laughs> com- to complete. Now, don't forget to shake it. Okay, just pick up a giant canvas. You know you're not supposed to shake the Polaroids. I've heard about that. But it was such a catchy song, I guess. Or at least a catchphrase. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, Waddle Doo! Haha! You you did it! I did it. It's been good. For something we don't need. We didn't even need to do it, but we did it anyway because that's just how it goes. That's how we do with Waddle Doo and company. See, this is why uh, Kirby's not here because there is a maximum level to their power. For Kirby, there is no maximum. 
Do you think Kirby could take on a god of destruction? I think he could eat him, and then swallow him, and then, uh, uh oh. So does that technically mean that Kirby is Majin Buu? Either that or Kirby could just go, hey, friend, and then bam, no more fight. Just imagine if the power of love could stop the entire uh, Dragon Ball Super arc. <laughs> Look, it ki kind of did with the way Goku, uh... Ah! What's it? All right, what do you want to be? Uh, let me be... I want to be you. If we're coming close to the end, the, the Waddle Doo Brothers. All right, Doo Bros. Yeah. Doo Bros, and we got Ninja. And... Actually, you can choose uh, whoever you wow. want. You know what? Let's, uh... You, you really want artist. I like artist, okay? You really want to capture the emotions of this final battle. The rainbow paint makes me happy. All right, all right, all right, okay! You got a problem with that? Waddle do, bro. You need to chill. I'm taking over. Don't you block you? at me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't you perfect guard at me. I'll perfect guard at you. <laughs> Back up, do, bro. Oh yeah, it's this fight! Sam Partizan. Ow. I thought you were giving me another advertisement to talk about. I forgot her name is Zan Partizan. <laughs> Zan Partizan, the electric one of the, of, of the three mage sisters. <laughs> Actually, with, with uh, how it is nowadays. Zan Partizan, because electricity! <laughs> what's, what, what's that tell me? Here's a panda. Actually, Zan Partizan just sounds like the medication I took for the stupid cold I'm getting rid of. <laughs> the efficient of doom. And, uh, and he's, he's dead. yeah. <laughs> you know, I honestly forgot he looked like this. Well, now you remember. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't this entire like sub game in order to save the sisters? No, that's a different sub-game. Oh. Okay. This well. is this is to give the friends a reason to, you know... To exist. Like, yeah. <laughs> give give them their own game, so that way they... Oh, uh, they, they so they don't feel left out. out. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give you some strats here. Okay. Uh, hit the thing. Perfect guard. Oh my god, that actually worked. Well. do 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 I guess that's one way to do things. And we did it! Uh, we have beaten, uh... Friend, star, whatever, you know, star allies go. Friend, and friend, that's, star. That's, that's, that's the end of that, and, uh... Die to duck credits, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, I really like that. Speeding on with credits, we don't need to see them. Going really fast, so you da -da -da -da. don't have to be bored. So our heroes went home, we had a laboratory, and then the next, but wait a minute, it's not over yet! Hold up there, buddy. Still got a big open portal here. Oh. It's Galacta Knight, it's not really. Oh, well. Okay. Meta Knight fights him sometimes. It's basically like, you know, a super powerful version of, of Meta Knight. He's not that, but, but wait a minute. Fucking butterfly just disintegrated Galactonite! No. It absorbed him. Oh. <laughs> this is Morpho Knight! Oh, cool! Fight, go! Secret boss fight! Oh, I like this. Yeah! This is cool. He's, he's, he's got a lot of sword arts. He's, he's crazy. I think for like the, you know, seven people who... Uh, <laughs> who remember Galacta Knight? They were just like, we're oh, very my, happy. oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and he has swords, and he's like, Shing. And additionally, Shing. The butterflies are where he swings at. Ah! Good lord. He's got yeah. screen wipe. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he means business. I like it. Some difficulty in this Kirby game. Yeah. You're about to die. Now he's gonna yell at us. Oh, he's. Oh, I'm. I'm oh, I'm under control. 
Okay, that's cool. He can just take your friends and pit them against one another. No! <laughs> I don't want to be an attack boy! Yeah, the way butterflies, like, assume the will of their prey, but that's not what they do. Just imagine if butterflies were parasitic. And poof! Okay, well, here, you can have your disgusting galactonite back. Did we win? Here's some more credits flying by real fast. Oh, yeah, we did. An hour 22. That seems that's about, you know, normal. Well, time to do it for every other character in the game. You betcha. Who's next? Oh, please, no. Oh, it's so close. Ah, so there now we, we can go. Yeah, we can play a uh, stream with guest star. Uh huh. Uh -huh. with, all, with all the dream friends, including the ones that were added from the updates. Okay. Dun, 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 Which I will demonstrate dun, dun, dun. when we get oh, back okay. here. Yeah, okay. Got it. Got a bit of loading to do on this cartridge game. But first, oh yeah, time for more credit game shenanigans. Oh, that means they have an ending credit end slate for every character. That's adorable. So what is adorable and thinking that you're gonna beat me? Uh, this. what is after this, by the way? Oh, you're totally going down. Oh, by oh, the way. oh, oh. Mm -hmm. we got a lot after this. It's it's it's, it's still nowhere near over. Well, now that we've done kind of like a, a little side game here, I know we've got plenty more mini games. But is there anything else that's like the campaign that we'll be doing? Just out of morbid curiosity. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still gotta save the still, sisters still, of the yeah, we still, get, we still gotta get that good ending. We still haven't gotten there yet? Still haven't gotten that good ending. Oh. I could have sworn we did. No. Nope. They're they're still under the control of the dark matter and been destroyed by void. That's 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 uh, that still happened. Nope, still dead. Don't worry, ladies, we'll save you in another timeline, I guess. This is coming soon. You know, we'll, we'll make the, we'll make the sequel Kirby anime arc, and then we'll, we'll get you back. <laughs> there is a way to bring you back to life. Just need to pray to the dragon. Dragon will do it. Do you really think Kirby needs Shenron? So I think he'd be redundant. Well, I mean, th there's a difference between raw power that Kirby has and being able to grant any wish ever. At least, in my opinion. Like, yeah, I can be super buff, but can I grant wishes? Uh, no. You know, come to think of it, I would love to see Kirby fight Dragon Ball Z characters. Just to see him, like, destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Goku would still give him a sensu bean, but just because he's, you know, hungry. <laughs> No, they'll the, the bond over food. There's no way that they're gonna, you know, fight. Oh, but Goku no will way. see how powerful he is and then want to fight him. Because that's what he does. Goku's kind of an idiot. And then he'll get eaten and absorbed and then, well, get spat right back out. And wow, I remember this from Majin Buu. <laughs> Man, that's like, okay, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that back guarding is not doing you any favors. Stop running into me. I think he has actually taken like 3,000 points away from me just from backing into me. <laughs> like gently nudging me. Well, it is now one to one. Well, well maybe not. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, definitely. Oh, yeah, you got this. Hey, the little Kirby thing. Hey. Yay! Yeah, I gotta love that. Try again later, CPU-1. Oh god, CPU-1, what are you doing? Were you even, like, paying attention? Bye. Bye, I'm the winner, bye. I win, though, bye. Thanks for playing, bye. I win, bye. <laughs> god, just imagine <laughs> being at, like, a sports event, and it's like, ha, oh, yeah, good game, I won. I won, though, so, you know, was, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you're terrible, I'm just saying I'm a lot better than you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 
So what's next? Well, uh, let's go back and see. Do we have a heart? Ah, oh, we do! We have a little heart over it. We got the jukebox! That's it? That's what we unlocked for doing things? And two more difficulty levels in the ultimate choice. Okay, there we go. Well, let's check out this, uh, this jukebox here. Throw me a couple quarters, Kirby! How many tracks do you think there are? Hmm... D jesus 233? Oh, wait, There's we're missing some. Haven't unlocked. Yeah. How do you unlock them? You gotta play them. Wow, we definitely didn't hear that track. So that's certainly good for hours upon hours of enjoyment. I love this theme. Hey, we're here with Kirby Star Allies, the band. We're all here and we're playing instruments. Yeah, okay. Is that the one that goes... Probably. Well, next time on Kirby Star Allies, we're heading to the ultimate choice again to deal with an even harder difficulty level. See you next time. Bring it on, Goku. I could beat you.